Hi everyone, it's Andrea and welcome back to the channel. Uh, quick disclaimer, this is an adult colouring channel. Videos are not made for or intended for children in any way, shape or form. It is the end of the month, so it's time for our monthly wrap up of what I coloured throughout July. I've got about 16 or 17 pictures. I'm not actually sure, I haven't counted them. So let's have a quick look at what we did. So the first one was one from Kelly Horton's The Little Darlings. We did this on camera, I think. Did I? Or did I not? I can't remember now. It's been a long month. Um, and that was done with Black Widows. A lot of these have been done with Black Widows. I've used them a lot this month. Um, yeah. So I enjoyed that one. That was a really nice one to, to do. And then I did one in Summertime Fun by Deborah Muller. This one was definitely done on, on camera. I'm just taking the bits of paper out. Um, so I can't remember what I did and what I didn't. It's been such a long month. And we did this cute little girl here. And that was done with the RTs there, Everblend Markers. I did another one in the Dragons special. This one was done on camera as well, actually, and this was the Frost Dragon. It really has been a long month. So I did this one. I like this one. I didn't do a background, but I really, really enjoyed doing this dragon. And his eye looks really good with the, the little extra bit of green on it at the top. So, so yeah, so we did the Frost Dragon from Colour in Heaven's Dragon Special. I did, I completed one Christmas picture from Christmas Colouring Book Volume 3 and it was literally just a very, very quick one of the wreath and I used the, I used gel pens for all of this, um, some normal coloured gel pens, a few metallics and the sparkle ones here, the red, uh, uh, gold or yellow and the blue and the silver, they were from the Arteza, uh, um, I can't even speak, the Arteza glitter pens, so I used those, very nice, they do come out very nicely. I did two in Sun and Moon Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cova. I really, really love this book. I did this Sun one. And again, it's all with the glitter gel pens. So it's all going to be glitter gel in this one, I'm afraid. And I did the Moon one, which is on the next page. So and that was really fun to do. I really do like this book. If you like suns and moons and things, this is really worth picking up. It's a really, really nice book. Next is another Colour in Heaven one, and this is the Woodland Fairies one. This is one we did, um, or I did, in the uh, for the Colour in Heaven Budget Pencils review uh, video. And there she is, a Daisy Fairy. I'm really pleased with the way she turned out. It took me a long time. And like I said in the video, there is four colours on the daisies, possibly five. There's four in her hair. I think there's a couple of colours in her eyes and her wings have got four colours. So it took a long time, but it was really worth doing. And I think it came out really well, considering they were the most budget pencils really that you can buy. I really, really enjoyed this one. So a few Colour in Heaven ones this, this month. Uh, then I did the one in Magical Jungle. Again, this one was done on camera as well. Or well, most of it. And this one was the skull, which we did with the jelly rolls. Did we do them with the jelly rolls? There's some glitter on there. I can see that. I think the gold was the the, the jelly roll, and then it was just a mixture of other colours from and the uh, RTs are toy markers in in the background. I really like that. I think it came out really nice. It's the first one I've done from Magical Jungle. So, yeah, it'll be nice to do some more in that one. I mean, I've got most of her books. The only one I haven't got is um, How to Draw Inky Wonderlands. But um, I'm really, really looking forward to doing some more Johanna Bassford. And then all my little tickets are flying away, which is fine because they'll be going in the bin anyway. I did another one from the Sarah K one. This one was for the... Uh, first impressions on the Castle Art watercolours 
and we did this one which was nature and it's uh, the picnic one and I like that, I like the way that turned out. I really like this book for the watercolours. I just think it looks really, really good. So, there was that one. I did, I finally finished the one in Intricate Mandalas. I started this one in June. So it was nice to finish this off. And that was done with the toy markers as well. And as you see, it's lots of just different colours. It really makes your eyes go. So, but it, I love these pattern books, they're just so nice to just sit and colour out in the garden or when you're uh, watching TV in bed at night. Then we started this one on camera but I finished it off camera and that was April Amber's Chibi Girls and we did um, The Wicked Queen. So I finished this one off, it wasn't with the Arteezers on this one, I think I used partly Arteezers and... No, it was our teasers, wasn't it? It's just I've used my other markers on something. I don't know what it is I've used them on. Oh, it was on something else. Yeah, this again was the Arteezers, which I really like using. And I really like this. It's just a really cute little book. I can see me colouring lots in this one. Just, well, I, th I don't want anything too detailed. I'll just come and do this one. But yes, I really like these books. And then I did another one in my Creative Haven Flower Mandela book by Martin Well, This is a book I think I've done the most pictures in. This is a mixture of metallic gel pens and glitter gel pens. And it's quite nice actually. I was just trying out some metallic pens to see what they look like. Yeah, that looks, looks quite nice. Oh. Not as many this month, but I've done a lot more with pencils than I do normally. And then we got the Busy World Colouring Heaven Special, which is Colin Thompson. I did the armchair with the cat on it. I really like this. I think it's a really nice one. This one was done with Black Widow pencils. It was all done with the Black Widows, and I just love the way it came out. I just think it looks really cool. I'm, I'm enjoying this book. This is a book, because it's so detailed, I'll just pick up and do a little bit every now and again, and then carry on with it. And that's that one. And the last picture I finished is a loose printed one and I did the cover page from Johanna Basswood's Flourish Mini Inky Adventure for my folder. Yeah, it's very blue. Again, it's, this paper is so smooth that I've got. It's the only paper I could get that was thick enough to use both markers and pencils on and it's not printer paper, but it's a bit too smooth. But it's not much smoother than the old stuff I had. Um, and that was, um, again, that was just done with the Black Widows. I like the Black Widows. They tend to live downstairs at the moment. So, and that one's uh, Flourish. And I you did use colours from each set. So there's uh, all the five sets there. Obviously, we haven't had the Monarch ones over here. So other than one whip that I've left downstairs, I've got a few whips that I'll be finishing in August. Obviously the first one is Whimsy Girls Through the Decades, which we are, we are doing as part of a colouring chat. I do like the way this shows, up, this shows up. I am going to do a bit of pencil work on her skin and in her eyes probably, but that's about it. The rest of it is all going to be done with gel pen and mostly glitter gel pen, I would think. Yeah, it will be glitter gel pen, I think. So that's, uh, we'll be doing another one of those fairly shortly. I've got a whip that's been hanging around for a very long time in Enchanted Forest. And it is just literally the title page. I still haven't finished this. And all I've got to do is some of these leaves here, this little bit down here, and the words Enchanted Forest. So it won't take me long when I do it. It's just getting around to it. So I'm determined to finish this one in August. Another one I started this month and haven't finished is um, one from Cute Christmas by Jade Summer. I might finish this, this in August, I might leave it till Christmas time. And I start doing the Gingerbread Man um, and that's the Arteza Metallic pens. There's a first impressions coming on that one. Uh, but I'm not sure what this is at the back. Is it is it snow? Because that looks like a dance floor. Is it grass? It, it's not really clear what it is, so I don't know. I'll have to see if anybody's done this one on Facebook. Um, but I'll decide whether I'm going to complete it or not. I'll, if I feel like it, I'll keep it with my whips, and if I feel like doing it, I will will do it. So 
that one. And then another one I've started but haven't finished is one from Fedorables by Selena Fennec. Sweet and simple book. And I started doing the witch on the broomstick. I haven't finished it yet. All I've done is the black background. Now, there were some stars down here, but because I was doing an acrylic background, as you can see, it's gone through slightly. Um, I just painted them out and I'm going to come in and do this this month, I hope. So yeah, there's one more, it's just a pattern in 100 swirls, but I've left it downstairs, so I'm not going to be, I'm not going to go down and get that. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing everything I've coloured for this month. Um, looking forward to seeing what happens in August and what we can colour and there's less this month because I've done a lot more with the pencils or a lot more detailed stuff like Flourish took quite a while. Obviously Busy World takes a while. And so on. although I did things in like with markers in like Enchanted for in Magical Jungle, it did take a bit longer than normal. So I hope you've had enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below share it with your friends if you feel like it and subscribe if you're not a subscriber and i will see you in the next video bye everyone